<clears throat> oh. Oh, 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 I see you. I, Ron Paul. Is that you, Ron Paul? Yeah. Not you watching the picture behind you. Yes, the vision behind your mind should be Ron Paul. Not for a hundred people, not for some of the people, but for all the people. You see, the rich people want to have Ron Paul because they want their liberty of getting rid of everybody. That's their liberty, right? Because they have all the money. So they can do that. Isn't that right? You can get rid of everybody if you have all the money. You pay somebody and they get rid of them. I mean, ask John Pesci. All he has to do is show up with his baseball bat. And thank God for George Carlin, because if he didn't do that skit on one of his comedy shows, I'd never be able to say this. You see, what I have to do to some of what my work is all about is to see, uh, just like everybody quotes somebody else, well, I have to sort of do that with everybody. I have to see what they say and compare it to, let's say, uh, the liberal libertarian uh, vision of you, or say it a little bit easier so it works for everybody, vision it from both sides of the specter, from the left and to the right, from Democratic to Republican, whichever way you want. Um, now, what I was going to say, I don't remember, because I forget. Sometimes I just do. Sometimes I get on the phone and talk like this. Hold on a second. Maybe somebody's trying to call me right now. You see, if you don't play the role within yourself, if you don't get totality inside of it, then it's not 100% real within your vision, within your speech, within the program I do here on video with Mr. Tacpans as I play his role as Avatar 5 of 7286 from the Constellation and of... Pegasus because she's coming to get me. Now that's my view. Now I can get back on the phone, you know, and speak to Joe Pesci because George Carlin and George Carlin told the truth. Because if the guy had a vision since the early days of time about holy fuck what screwed up, you know, it's not only that. If you haven't watched George Carlin, go watch this guy. He's talking about everything that's going on. And you can't only look at Obama tapes. For those of you who would disagree me with with Ron Paul, you can't just look at the Obama tapes. You have to look at both tapes. You have to want to try to see behind, between, and beyond whatever any of them say. Because it's not really that you have to do too much work to do it. It's just the in-between. Find the opposite. Like I said, if I take this coffee from here and put it to this way, okay, the bottom is straight. Watch my this pen on the bottom. I'm only going to move the top part of the coffee, okay? Look at the pen moving at the same time. It's always at the same angle, my pen. You see, it's 90 degrees to the earth. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. The gamma lettered in Greek. And the reason for the gamma letter in Greek, because that's the angle. You can't stop it. Stand straight up. Go get yourself at the hardware store, one of those things that you can check angles. Okay, and put it against the foot on the bottom of who you are and the earth. Keep everything straight. You'll be at 90 degrees. It's the angle of beta. It's the 12th card in the deck, the queen. The 12th letter is the L, gamma. I just went around to show you. The queen is the 12th card. The L upside down is gamma. The angle is 90 degrees. And the L is the 12th letter. So I just connected you five different pieces explaining to you within its own realm of reality. And not, uh, not a realm and not a hypothesis that, that people say, well, the Big Bang was light, an à peu près. Okay, I mean, what Einstein said is we got a point on the matter. There was a Big Bang. This is how it all began. Now, what went after that? Did they ever really talk about what went after that? Let me tell you one thing. We come from every animal, okay, in the jungle. We come from every animal here on Earth. Not from every animal. I'm sorry. There are some we are don't. Do you know why? Because I can never be sure. What I can be sure is we are from all these animals. We act like them. We use their expressions. The names are like them. You're constantly scratched in your ass like a monkey <clears throat> hanging from the trees. You should go be eating bananas. So all these expressions are based on who we come from. Now, I've always said in my videos, the black man came first. Why? Because the white man, when he was first here the first time, he had no brains. So we can't actually count him as being here. Yes, white man had no brains. And one of the visions and the reasons why is because when you start off on a piece of paper, most people will use white paper when they're in school, like I'd say 99% of them. 
Okay, and that's a guess. So let's say 80, and I'd be pretty much close. And um, and what happens with white is um, when you burn wood in the fireplace, it charcoals to black, okay, where then it disintegrates and it becomes white. Now white is whole. White has made a whole cycle, but black came before white did. And that's because the yellow, blue, and red a combination of colors and their sequence numbers, depending on where you search horse racing, the one is white, and pull the one is yellow, and continuous on to where the colors are, the bit red dog, something about the goldfish. So they're always going to connect in one area or of the other. Um, just give me a second. So that's why white man came after black man, because black man went through the colors of the coals before he became fully black. Before that, in all reality, okay, most trees are more, um, well, I can't say most, but the hardwood trees that I work with, okay, after they've gotten a little bit of life into them, meaning the wind and the sun have hit them, the wood starts to turn gray or a brownish color if you put it in an oven. So one would be cooked, okay, in one way, and the other one would be naturally uh, simmered, naturally, um, what would they call, naturally spiced or something. Well, that's what they use for wood terminology, and I'm not, this is not off the top of my head, because if you want to know um, something, what I do, my brother honored my grandfather by opening a company and calling the bag that he sells Grandpa Willie. Firewood. Grandpa Willie Firewood. So that's what he sells to honor my grandfather. And ever since he did that, he went from being like here to like this, to where there's a steady flow. He makes good stuff. He thinks of the public. He knows you can't put shit in the bag because if you put shit in the bag, it means you're not giving the best quality. And regardless of what's in a bag, to explain this again, when you get something, okay, regardless of what the quality is when the person went about to make what he did if he knew and thought he was doing the best he could that is great quality to him but he only asked himself he should have been asking everybody and somebody that maybe knew and he'd really see what's true you can't just ask in your own backyard you gotta go out further you wanna know from people that you've never seen before <clears throat> give me the true answer so what I'm working on now is, you see, because um, even though I can go build it around this way, there's so many ways to do it, I don't know which way, or I can build a situation on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is, when you go bowling, bowling always seems to have two lanes at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So bowling must be in this world. So bowling is a maximum of 300 right and Jack stops at 10 okay you, you follow the 10th frame Jack Queen you only have 12 possibilities there is no 13 it's a lucky 13 because 13 and 1 it's almost like they only happen once I don't know why that's the way it is although 13 is the letter M one of the reasons for it being the letter M and being the 13th card, which is not included in the game, because you can only throw 12 strikes in a game, the 13th card is the connection of the mind. It is the king. Do you know why it is the king? I'll show you why it is the king and why it is the connection card. Because this is what happens. Two kings together create a box or a diamond on the side. That's why it's the mind. It connects the here, here, to here. And then there's a line going down here for the Christ. And there's a line going down here for the Christ in the center of it all, giving energies to both sides. And after these sides got the energy, it comes to here. This part comes to here. This is the rest of your thinking part of your mind. And after that, what happens... It goes back up, so you keep rotating your thinking within this block, okay? And at the same time, look, this is, I'm going to show you some. At the same time, take a look. looks like an ice cube, doesn't it? Forget about this big line up here. It looks like a cube. You see this cube when it's turned on the side? I can see the two and the three. 
and that's right over here. And then on the top, you would see the six. See the angle of the six, how the two hits it? There's a three-point play with the two, three, and six. That's the only time, okay? Okay. This is the only time you can ever see it. But the funny thing about this that everybody knows, this is the angle of the earth, right? So it turns. The two becomes on the bottom. Now we see the two catching one corner of the four, in which on the same side is the one. Now, you would take the one. Let me see. I'm going to show you what the one could do and the one can't do. You ever hear, like, bypass surgery or something? Well, this is the way the one works. Sort of like bypasses a surgery. So we start off on one, okay? Now it only can do, okay, what a machine can do. There's no magic. This, okay, in totality, if it takes up every single way and angle by one degree, okay, that means it has to work. Why? Because all the same sides of the dice, and normally the holes on the other side won't be able to tell. But what happens is when this is inside here, there's a light like this. And while she's moving, it will know how she perceives the roundness of the hole. That is never touched, but only by the beam of light that will shadow automatically what it uses. And that and every other one is done at the same time. So they read and they understand what's going on in each situation and therefore intercepted. And the final result is inside of this because they, you know, like the potatoes you have, you dig out all the potato and you fill it up with cheese and stuff. Well, something like that. You're like the potato, you're digging it out and you fill it up with you inside or earth inside imagine we're inside this dice imagine we are inside this dice we are we're small eh? we're fucking small in fact the whole entire world is in this dice because you think you're such a big head because you think you're big because you know eight feet is tall because you know 20 feet is taller because you know 400 stories or 800 stories is tall it's only tall in relevance to what you know can't be any taller than that. You don't know how interior worlds work. It's easy to shrink us. Like right now, they can shrink us to this side. Then you'd say we'd be small. But then when we'd be this size, we'd look at each other, and we'd be actually what this size is. So they'd shrink us again and shrink us again and shrink us again. Is there really a small? What is the smallest molecule? You see, because we're, we're, always, um, we're always at least the five elements. So how much space do the five elements take up together? And then have yourself around around it. So you can have like say the 11 elements. We have to be made of 11 pieces, I think. Because, and then again, if we were made by 13 pieces, that 13th piece, piece may, might be our mind. And that's why we have the 13 suits, the 13 moons, and et cetera, et cetera. And again, I could be totally off base, completely wrong, out to lunch. Me and Ron Paul can be going to the same convention. Who shows up? Everybody. How many votes do we get? None. We forgot. That's not what the question was. You know, you see, when you're when you're when when you're good and you want to go the right way, the evil will see you're good and they'll try and screw you up. And eventually, once everybody keeps talking. The only way to live in this world is to knock people up. The only way to live it. And once you hear it so many times, um, you become like a mouse or a little rat and end up in the sewer because you don't want to hear it anymore. You don't care if you live down there. You don't want to hear that. It's liberty for all. And liberty doesn't come free. I don't care how anybody names it. Freedom. Nothing free. Free, does that mean something has to cost something? How is it free when it cost something when you're the slave and it cost you what did it cost them it still cost them the slave masters that have to overcome who you are and make sure you stay in your place so everybody is really like on edge all this time and constantly so then again black man was first right i believe uh, somehow um that it's got to be, it can't actually be a real black man, okay? And 
Um, I think the black people were once the Mayans, and that's why they came and they they actually they are the way they are today because of what they know inside their mind, deep inside their soul. I never seen anybody move better than somebody with a little color. I mean, come on, the Spanish women dance, they're sexy as shit. Or maybe that's what they show me on TV and I really haven't seen the real truth. Uh, oh no, oh no, I do a little bit of everything on my project and I search up what other people really look like in other parts of the world compared to all this sex shit that keeps popping up. Not only the sex shit, but you go on to uh, Plenty of Fish. I mean, I went on last week, sent out a hundred different letters. Obviously, it was the same letter over and over again. I am Raphael, Mr. Takpan, 7286. Go look me up on Google or YouTube. Check out what I do. If you like it, give me a call back. And by the way, my friends, you must like me at the same time and leave me a message by watching one of my tubes. If you do not do this, I know you will go no for further from me at any time uh, uh, in the time that we will be together in our relationship because you cheated me before it all began because it's all for fun what I'm doing. It's for fun, but it's not for fun. But when you use it in certain angles, it can be for fun. Well, it's always for fun because it's fun to know. It's fun to know the vision of another if the other can explain it well enough uh, that we do not feel that we're sitting here bored out of our skull and just want to shut it off. But just to be nice to the guy, we want to watch the video all the way to the end. And I'm hoping to God and I pray to God and I hope to God and I pray to God and I pray to God and I hope to God. And I hope to God and I pray to God one day I can do some five-minute videos and do 20, 30, 40, 55-minute videos in a day. Whoa, that would wreck up a lot of visions, right? Then I'm going to go put flyers on cars. And you know those packages you get in the mail with all those things, uh, get 10% off and all this? I put my name in there. I'll get 100,000 viewers in a couple of weeks. Am I allowed to do that? Somebody tell me, am I allowed to do that? Anyways, the reason I really came on, I wasn't coming on for any other reason at all but this. Oh, yes, and the other thing I wanted to tell you before I jumped on to this, I'm going to go back. You see, the Anonymous and Vendetta, the movie, I think they use the same mask. And if they don't, I vision they do. But Vendetta, okay, is what a V. Zorro, what a V. Or is the V a Z? Or is the V an N? Because that's what the sword actually does, okay? Man is five. Didn't I tell you this is man? Why is this man? Because man is one side of the X. The opposite of the X is interior, the angel, the God, the spirit, okay, the beta of heaven, makes an upside down X, two and three. And on man's side of his world, he's upside the other way, and his side of the X is one and four. Uh, three and I'm just going to do it this way. Um, I'm just trying to tr figure out 23 equals 5 and 14 equals 5. Okay, and what I'm going to show you here, I hope it doesn't freeze, is that here's the V. But wait a second, here's a V upside down. But just let me explain to you, world. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not sure if it's complete because I know there's at least nine levels. Okay, and on each level, I know I'm jumping nine levels and one and two and one and two. And one of the levels, okay, uh, they all have no more than two. One on the left, one on the right. What's in the center? It's the fucking elevator taking you up to the top and you have a chance to jump out between the floors. So that you have the center, okay, like the 258 on your telephone, you jump to the left, you hit 147. You jump to the right, you hit 369. But in all actuality, when you jump out to the right, you jump right into the six. It's from the six you can move from the three and the nine. But you can't move there because you are the creation. You are the nine birth. Now hold on. The elevator. Three and nine. So you, you live between the numbers. You live between the numbers. Okay? Nine birth. Takes you into center five. Okay, now you have a chance to get out on this side of the elevator. You have a chance to get on this side of the elevator. You can't jump here. Can you? Can you jump here? Let's see the center dot and you make the judgment, okay? Let's see. Let me, let me try and mark a mark on it, okay? Let's give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. So, okay, here's the mark, okay? And 
Oh yeah, that's it. Now when you jump out of the elevator, you jump here, here, or here. Okay, well, let me tell you the way it works. It started off that it was right over here. Okay, that was creation. That's when the egg and the sperm were sitting here in creation. When the baby was made, the transfer went through the center five and sat in number four. Wiring all connected. Okay, once this is connected and over here at the same time, the flip side of the dice down here is putting it over here. Okay, because the birth of the top is a reflection of the birth of the bottom. The same thing you see at the lake of the trees and the oceans and the clouds and the skies. It's the same thing. So when you jump out of the elevator, when you come up here in five and you jump out here, you're in between three, coming of creation, which is now four. Three and four are each other. And the nine birth, which is like who six actually is, but you pass through five into six. So one lives here. One lives here, and this is the passage, the moons, the, the, the telecommunications. And if you look at this, the setup for this, okay, if I can understand, is it this way or this way? Because this way, this would be Mars right here. This one over here in the center would be Jupiter, and this would be Saturn, and that's where we would be on Saturn. Okay, so we jump out of the elevator. So when we jump out to the other side, we're, we're on number four. And we get into position from number four, and we are made up of one and seven. And what does that mean? Well, first of all, you got to be a black, okay? Because the red is the energy spirit, which is God um, and the before world, uh, before the beta world, it's all a spirit. It's all an element of, um, it's like breathing air, okay? And what's in the air, okay, all these elements that are in the air that we breathe that keeps us alive today is all God's concoction of some kind of cake he built that he pumped into this world that goes inside of us. And we just say, I guess it's air, eh? Just, just air. That's all. It's important, the air. But it's not as important as certain things that are happening with the air. Because what's happening with the air is not half as bad as what they put in your mind. Okay? They get us to mix drugs within ourselves. How do they do this? Whatever chemtrails they put in the air and whatever we're eating, they have a connection together. Um, anyways, we're going to, what where were we at? Um, I don't know, but now I'm going to go to the telephone because according to my calculations, now it could be off, but it, it it's the only it's as close as I can get. It's perfect for me. It works out for me, okay. But it still might be off, um, not on an angle, but it just might be off by. It could be an eighth of an inch, a little lower. But the number of boxes I get is right, and the the actual size, like hockey rinks. Okay, they're not all the same size. Well, this equation is like a hockey rink, and it's still standard for the whole league. Like I said, some things have to be stretched out and back. So that's where I'll get this equation from. And that's what's fun about this. I made no rules, okay? I created no games, but yet from the rules in the games that have already been created, I can put this in into a numerological way and I can compare it to the Bible so we can have sort of a thought pattern of okay no this is not right boom you got the answer the minute you see something's not right to you it's wrong I want to see the opposite that's all boom you got the answer you didn't have to do anything class this is what we're gonna do this weekend pick a game pick two games compare two games I'm playing Sorry and Monopoly. It's not the two games we should bring out. Sorry, Monopoly. Sorry, Monopoly. Wait a second. How about this one for the last 30 years? What game would we have played for the last 30 years? Snakes and Ladders. Now, there's one game that the, that the Feds or the bankers or whoever that evil big gang is, they played a game too. Now, what game were they playing? It was the game of the mind. Which game would it have been if it was the game of the mind? Time's up. Twister. Who? Wait a second. 
I was with my family last night. It was really funny. I don't know who said it. It doesn't really matter. But, oh, look what Barack Obama did. And look what, can I tell you something? Fuck, let me tell you one thing. And I believe this so utterly extreme that if you knock out all that bullshit that's in there, I can possibly straighten out the rest of this bullshit in all the states. Okay. Um, hold on. I definitely think I would be able to run a country. No problem. I just need a lot of people to come in, explain to me what's where and everything else. You put it all in its position. You keep it up here. Like this whole time, I mean, I came on here to do a two-minute video because I had nothing to say. Oh, Ron Paul, right. Once you get on, you think of Ron Paul. You always seem to find something to say. What a man. What an amazing man. What an amazing man. Anyways, I got off the subject of one thing, but I'll get back to it. And he's such an amazing man because when he talks, you hear his breath from within inside his, his speech. I wish I can say, you know what? You know what I wish I can say? I wish Barack Obama would come over here. Yeah, Barack, what's going on? He'd say, well, mm -hmm, Mr. Tackpans, you're screwing me up, Mr. Tackpans. You're on the side of Ron Paul. And he says, let me tell you a story about Ron Paul. And I'd like to hear a bad story about Ron Paul. But you know what? And when a 73-year-old guy comes up to the plate, you think he wants to get back at anybody for what happens before? You think he just wants to be the president to get back at the other side for doing all that tyranny and bullshit? Okay? That even pushes his reason because he knows it's such crap. I've never voted in my life. I could never vote because if I ever thought of voting and I wanted to think of voting, it would be totally insane for me to vote for something. I don't know. It's okay. Ma. I don't eat hot dogs, but I'll just give you one. But I don't eat hot dogs. Like I wouldn't vote for Barack Obama. Like I wouldn't vote for anybody unless Ron Paul was there. A man with two first names should get at least double the vote. Do you know what this guy should get? He should get between 67 and 72 percent of, of, I don't know if they call it like this, but I like the words, the popular vote. Another thing is like that. Look at the way my hand is right now. I drew a picture of that once. I forget why. Don't you see? It's a 30. Three, zero. Creation world. 30 days as September, April, June, and November. All the rest are 31, but wait, there's one at 29 and November. February and November, November 11th month, one and one, two. Okay, so now we're going to get back to, right, Barack, you're still here. I didn't know Barack Obama was still here. Oh, my God, it's so crazy. What are you doing here? I told you you can go home. Oh, your, your, your guys, they want you to stay here and watch me do a video, eh? Can you believe that? Is this what soap is all about? The president comes over? Hey, man, maybe we should get sopa. Because the president's over, and he says that's the way we watch. That's so cool. Hey, Mr. President, what's that on the top of your head, Mr. President? No, hold on a second. There's something. It looks like you have a bump. Is that a bump? And you're wearing your hair a little longer. Oh, you're not taping this. That's not a camera. Oh, no, no, no. Would you take a lie detector, detector test over that? I would certainly do. So what is that coming out of the top of your head? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, Barack. I got some a phone call online. Sherry? You sharing this? Yeah, with me? You're going to share a message? What is it, Sherry? Right? Barack Obama's at your house, too? Oh, wait a second, Sherry. You got the other line. Pick up your other phone. Let me watch on Skype. And you see, um, Sherry, what is it, Sherry? You think I'm lying? I'm not lying. Hello. Yeah. I can't go. I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to my brother's for supper. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't give me my paycheck until tonight, so I'm flat broke. I couldn't go. I mean, I'd go, but I can't go because I don't money till tonight, so. And I'm going out to see him in the city. 
So that's no, but that's cool. That's cool. What are you doing? Happy Happy Passover. Uh, as, um, Ted asked if uh, if we uh, if we were hanging out. Sean made a joke. It was funny. He says he says he starts talking to me. He says, "Oh, he says you still talk to Steve." I go, "Yeah." Please. And then two minutes later, he says, "Oh, he says I shouldn't be talking to you." He says, "The posse." <laughs> he says, "He says the posse." He says, "You hang around with." He says, "You hang around with the with the with the cones." <laughs> you know, they always leave. He looked fantastic. He looked fantastic. Yes, he looked fantastic. He was talking about going to see this doctor or that doctor. And I was reading an article online, right? And I spoke to somebody and I read another article. And you know that is a, there's a lot of patients that jump to marijuana and it just completely changes the outlook of the cancer cells that are within inside of them. And in, in some cases, it eliminates the cancer. In a few very rare cases, it speedens it up, but in most, like 85% of it is better than worse. You're 48 years old? Right. Oh, no, for sure science prevails, of course, but it helps with the hurt. It helps with the hurt. It, 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 it's, it, no, no. It, yes, it can early on, okay? It, it can change it, but if once it gets to a certain level, the doctor's the only way. Just cut it out. You know, whatever, whichever way it was or is. So, so, so you're going to still go golfing? Okay. 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 I'll sp yeah, good. You know what? Call me and say, uh, if you do go up near me, I'll stop by. I want to see your car. Okay. I'll speak to you after. Okay. Thanks for calling. Big Steve. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Yeah. Last night I was at my brother-in-law's and this is his friend. His name is Steve. And I came up with a good idea about 30 years ago. And, and this guy ripped me off. He still says no, but, uh, you know, when you give a guy 400 and he owes you eight, you know, he's ripping you off. And then I helped them uh, set up this other place, and uh, for some reason they didn't want me around, so I put the cash in. And I did it gingerly because I had a little gambling problem back then, so I didn't want to spend my money, so I said I'll give it away. That's what I did, so I gave it away. And I expected it just to get back a nice paycheck every week. And, uh, well, whatever happened, happened. So um, that's one of the reasons I can have my hat off today because I'm always making an income of some sort. And uh, whether it's a lot or a little, I think it's uh, more irrelevant to the fact is if I have enough to support myself to make it through to the next check because that's the way I'm happy my life lives that way right now because I don't know how much money I can spend, but all the money that I would spend it would all be about promoting my uh, Mr. Takpans, his ways, and Ron Paul. That's what my thing is in life. I'm a little, I'm a little dice cube, and it goes in there. And like on Bob Barker, when the lady throws the big dice and puts it in the hole, that third hole value is a number one. The fourth hole value is a number four. Like when Bob Barker was selling cars 25 years ago, and uh, there's five numbers. Everybody knew most of the time that the fifth number was always a one. So the value of that cube in that position was only to be used in electricity and current or whatever you want to call it. That's what its value is. Hello. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm not leaving yet. I don't know. I don't know. So what's up? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go to Ted's first. Oh, just stay at Ted's? Why? We're going to go there, then go to your house at 7 o'clock.
Okay, so I'll just go there, but I still need money. I have no money. Oh, okay, I'll come by and say hello. Okay, so I'm doing the opposite of what I was going to do. Okay, give me the, uh, give me the, the, the thing. Oh, by the way, we're on uh, being uh, taped right now. I'm, I'm in one of my sessions. I just had to let you know, just like the freedom of liberty, everybody has to know what's going on, right? It wouldn't be fair. Okay, the address is what? Okay, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mention it on my thing. Okay, okay bye. Okay, so I was going to... Um, it's Passover, and this is the second night. They are in the city of Montreal. I am about uh, in the city of St. Jerome. Uh, they are mostly in the West Island. So I would have to go to St. Jerome to the West Island. And the price of gas, okay, right now is um, $1.50 times 4.56 equals... It's $6.85 the price of gas right here in town in Montreal. So if you Americans want to know how much you're paying for gas, well, go take a look again. It's $6.85, and at some places it's $7. It's $12, $13 in France. The price of oil, the real value of the price of oil, oil overtook gold, right? Now, will we ever use up all the gold in the world? But oil in price actually is more than, than gold. Okay, because of how much we uh, need to use, like six dollars, seven dollars of gas. Okay, to gold is I would say um, twenty. Just let me think of this. You put in seventy dollars a week. Okay, would anybody a full tank a week? Seventy dollars a week, thirty-five hundred dollars. So in one year, that gold is eighteen hundred value, but you've spent thirty-five hundred dollars in gas. You've spent twice the amount of two ounces of golden gas in a car that actually only took you to a certain place. So um, uh, the the oil is way way overpriced, and that's how I how I vision it. And I don't care what anybody says how much it costs, because I've had friends in different kinds of businesses, and I think I know how much uh, it costs to do what has to be done. I have another unknown caller. Just give me a second. Hold on. Hello. A uh, one thousand three hundred three. Okay, chow. Good, thanks. Bye. So um, that was a cove. His whole family, if they stand up on each other, three brothers, a father and a mother is five. So if they all stand on each other, they'd be about thirty-three feet high. Okay, if me and my brother, my parents and sisters stood on each other, we'd be about 31 feet high. Yes, a very tall family. So where was I going with the next vision within? You see, I got all lost between these telephone calls. I'm really sorry. I'll mention it um, in my typo at the beginning if you want to skip over some parts. Uh, but then again, this is the air of a diary of Mr. Tackpans. The reason why I'm here, which I skipped over, is for me, this is my desire in life to make sure that everybody has an eye or, a, or an uh, ability to gain a vision upon something that others uh, do not necessarily see. And that is the vision of what Mr. Takpan sees, in which what I give to all of you, uh, which and all of you give to me, is by watching um, my stuff. It's my stuff. But you know what? I need someone to tell me, how do I take these videos that are on here? Because I have them down somewhere once, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to find them again. Because if, if YouTube ever shuts forever, I lose 900 videos. Uh, by the way, I think this is my 902nd video, which is very, very special. Because um, it connects to all months and to the extremity of February. Um, I want to say something else that June 12th is a very, very um, good number because this guy gets on here and I forget his name. I'm really sorry. But that day is the only day in the year that can be um, actually doubled and partake 
and every part of a dozen. You see, June 12th is 612, or it's 1224. Now, you couldn't go to 7 July or any other month because you can't double July and still end up in the same year. And you can't double February because you're still missing two months. Only June 12th can you do this. And in the year of 1973, 1937, 1379, and um, 1739, um, all these years were years in which the four corners were solidified in which what means if you actually take a tic-tac-toe board and flip the corners out or flip the corner in, right, it'll either make a square or a tic-tac-toe board, okay? And what happens is when you're flipping the corners, everybody knows if it's metal and you flip something, the corner will bend in, losing the point on the corner on all four corners of a dice cube and turning it and making it into the shape of the octagon, the eight sides, but when there's an octagon, if you want to have fun, if you want to have fun with any shape, okay, extend all the points on the same angle that they actually are, and then join them together at the same distance of what the interior of the uh, size of your shape was, flip it over for the same size on the outside, like an outline, like like I said with um, with the Mercedes. Somebody looked at me last night, and they looked at me, oh yeah, I see it. Oh, yeah, I see it. And like I said, it's two of three because the other part, either the part of the body, which is part of the heaven, or the negative return of the energy. And that would be the jack of spades because he has the other one eye, but he doesn't need the other one eye because his other eye is up in heaven getting all the information, making sure the movement is there, helping out the... the um, the part of the diamond, because in every card, spade, club, diamond, and heart, okay, and sorry, don't talk about the diamond, but in the spade, club, and heart, there's a diamond from within the center. It is the all-seeing eye that connects everything together. Spirit has to be, well, in one, in man, but it's actually in everything, but sometimes you won't see it because it's a minus and a plus spirit. If one is going out, the other is going in. If it's coming from somewhere, then it's going somewhere else. So basically, that's, you know what I'm saying? It's like, do, 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 do. Isn't that what they do? Just like an Egyptian, just like an Egyptian. Because these are the movements of the connection of the mind of the matrix world. That's the way it moves. So how do you think we end up doing these movements so fantastic, especially in America? Well, not as much Canada. Canada is pretty dorky. You know what I'm saying? But in America, is it, there, is it that there's so many people? They have such high desires. They're so pumpy. They stand up for what they mean. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you go to Harlem and all these boys... You know, they used to call the colored fellas that were a bad gang back then irrelevant if it was their fault. I think most of it was caused because of the government and lack of funds. Everybody was uh, like if no one had to really be uh, hiding the drugs and selling the drugs, no one would be out of hand. But anyways, these boys in Harlem, they have the energy of America. When you give a black guy the energy of America, he thinks he's everything because he can actually understand the soul world. He commits to the soul world with understanding what the freedom of rights is all about, and he's twice as powerful. And that's why I say I don't care who ever says to me that these back people are a little out to lunch here and they don't know and they're rust, rust, rusties, like they're all rusty and they're all screwed up. But I don't see it that way. But what I do see is there's a lot of people out there that are flagrant. They just... I don't know what it is. We have to teach the people because I see it. I see people driving, and not only are they scared, but they're not sure how to get into the next lane. Our, our driving schools, I mean, have to be some sort of, of regulation. It's very important, the most dangerous thing. I mean, do we have to have things for, for gun control and all these things? Not really. There should be a basic law for everything, but everybody needs to learn. I think it's time to learn that we learn about the things that really make the difference. Things that make the difference that if you get into a car after drinking alcohol and you drive down the street and kill somebody, you've made the difference into the lives of hundreds and thousands of people. Why hundreds of thousands of people? One, one reason, whoever's watching me right now in a hundred years, you're dead. 
but your child is alive or your great grandchild and they've heard a story about you from 300 years ago you know why because now they're going to myfamily.com and they're looking back in the history what everybody did everybody in the future is going to know what we did and that's why it's a conscious world coming in because it's all being prepared for it all these computers are prepared for the mind to advance into the next realm you don't need to spend hundreds of hours at work and you don't need to spend hundreds of hours on the computer you need to know how to spend those hours how to use those hours that's what we need to know we have to need to know what it is to live everybody asks why are we here well the answer is well we are here and what should we do about it so we can all live together here that's what it's all about okay and then once we start living together and understanding maybe we'll understand why we're here will we accept it that we are here to learn that's it I gave you the answer didn't charge you a million dollars oh wait a second Hmm, we're going to have to take this to the higher courts so a judge can judge what I just said. Because what I said is just simply freedom. That's all it is. It's based on getting along, making sure everybody eats, everybody has a house over their head, and everybody's abiding by the basic laws. I don't care who you're sleeping with because it makes no difference to me. Because I'm going to tell you something about some of the gay people out here and lesbians. Okay, you know all these medical things and 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 all these diseases that uh, that they have caused purposely, like SARS, all in, 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 all created on the earth. Somebody did it. Well, in some of this, it turns some of us gay. Another part of it, gay people have to be around here because what would you do without a gay person? Who would notice what a gay person notices? Eh? Huh? Who would notice what a gay person notices? You see, if we didn't have gays, we know nothing about gays. And so we, since we know something about gays, then there's something in between what we know and that what they know. If they weren't around, we wouldn't know what the in-between was. We'd be going off with no point. Same thing for the lesbians, we wouldn't know. But one of the things about lesbians that's special is that um, a woman is very special inside the mind of the Creator. Because it was the first thing God made when he made something was he made woman. Because it's the beta world, mother nature. That's what he made first. So the woman was first, the man was second. So that's why I was always really confused over Adam and Eve. In which then I thought of, well, since the beta world is here first with the woman, the next thing you got to make is Adam. So then Adam would be here. And since they made Adam, they'd have to make Eve. And since they had that big problem of Adam and then Eve, she had to leave. Because she had to deceive. You like my picture? I'm not really into um, doing as much art as I used to um, because I'm trying to, I read a whole lot more than I used to. Um, if I forget about everything that I've read in the last six months, um, I read more in the last six months than I've read in the last 30 years. Why? A good part of it is Ron Paul. I'm very interested uh, that, um, like I said earlier on in this cassette, and this has been what, we're on day three now, 20, I want to do a cassette 24 hours, never stopping, always continuously to take something out and doing everything live, new findings, doing new findings live. Anyways, last night I got tricked into a conversation with somebody and uh, maybe I'll get the answer tonight. I had almost a 45 minute conversation with this woman um, a nice looking woman, uh, she had a daughter and her husband was next to me and we were talking for 45 minutes and she says to me in the middle of the conversation, she says, do you ever find that you're going real fast and you, and you can't slow down? I hope I quote her correctly, I know I'm not going to be exact. I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I go, I know, I know I'm fast, I go, but I like it, I, it feels good. Well, of course, a bipolar wants to go fast, it feels good. And it's like cocaine, you know what I'm saying? You guys go on cocaine and I'm like, I'm like, God gave me cocaine forever. I'm a cocaine cowboy. God gave it to me. I'm bipolar, man. I'm quick and I go. When the cocaine runs out, I fall into depression, but it's okay. Because after seven years, I know in my own body, I've overcome a, a lot of fears because of this bipolar and trying to understand the bipolar. And one of the things that really got to me with this bipolar and what really helped me out a lot is to learn a lot more about the medication. I must have read a couple of hundred stories, 50 stories, maybe 20, a couple, maybe three or four, irrelevant to the fact of what I got out of it. And what I got out of it, the stories, is uh, no one has the same uh, explanation of anything. There's actually no concrete history 
uh, to the medication that I'm taking. They basically just think they know. So if one comes in and it's only 1%, that's why they always leave that percentage sign. It's like a springboard. Well, it was 88%. Well, why wasn't it 100? What didn't work out? It's for everybody. We need 100. You know what? When we start to vote in the future, my friends, we don't want 56%. We want 76%. And if there's less than, than, than a certain amount, we want an answer why what people want to change is only half-half now. You can't change something that's half-half, especially if half the water is gone. Now, I know I jump around, and I do it in a lot of cassettes. I'll be in one area, and boom. I jumped around and you don't know the answer. I've skipped over and go, hey, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I, I needed the answer. I'm listening to this whole fucking thing. Well, it's almost like survival or something. You talk to me, you hear bits and pieces and, of 900 different cassettes and 150 on Facebook, over almost 1,100 cassettes, and I jump all over. One of the reasons for that is I'm thinking about God at this time. I think that God purposely pushed me not to give every single answer so that when the book movie or Christ comes down that he can give you the exact and best answer of all. So I leave you a little bit in the air, always thinking for either what did he actually say, how come he forgot, or you say he's an idiot, he went from one place to the to the next without trying to think maybe there's a reason for it some of the times. Most of the time I forget, but it doesn't matter anymore. Now that I do forget or I don't forget, once I've skipped over it, that's the situation regardless of how it happens. Doesn't matter always of how it happens. Um, one of the things I'm working on now, I'm coming to the end of this uh, cycle, is bowling 300. And uh, there's there's a reason for it designed that way is be between every single, once you start putting 10 pin, 10 pin, 10 pin, 10 pin, 10 pin, then you go 5 pin, then you go duck pin, and then you go candle pin. And all these games of bowling and their different kinds of scoring. Um, explain to you creation, like in five pin, right? Um, if you knock all the five pins down, you get 15 points, and the one in the front is three for creation. Uh, th what is it? Uh, is it five, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? Anyways, I don't know exactly how many, uh, how it works. One, two, three, four, five, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think it's five, three, two, two. So it's two, two for beta. 3-3 three, three for creation, and 5 in the front. And that 5, when you take the same pins and you turn it around to each other, it's now 5 and 5 kissing, leaving a diamond empty space to start here and a diamond empty space to start here. So you got to set up uh, the pull table if you want. you got to set up um, a bunch of how many? The same amount of pins that are put on a 10-pin bowling alley, you have to structure it by the same way, like a little bit like setting up the Olympic... Uh, circles. Um, so that's what I was doing. The other thing what I was doing, if you ever looked at the roulette board, it's more rectangular the shapes than square. So they tell a second story. And one of the second stories, it shows you the um, continuation of the crossover. Because instead of finishing the line here, making it the letter Y, you make the crossover X, or the full crossover and a lower Y. Well, the Y is, I guess, like this. Anyways, um, what else did I have in here? Yes, like I said, um, I think it's two worlds up and one world down. Three, six, nine. Two worlds up, one world down. Never more than seven of nine. Never more than three of four. Never more than two of three. Okay and always doubled and one of the reasons for uh, that is because one this is the way it works the corner like i mentioned earlier if it was in a square when you move a corner the corner here will turn in half when all these four corners turn in half it makes the octagon okay so if it turns in half well you can say the corner's value is half now in the center over here you see this this is doubled, and this one is times four. And I'm going to actually design it while I sit here and talk to you and show you why it's like that. Because what I do is I make a bigger, you know when you make a, t a bigger tic-tac-toe board? You see the tic-tac-toe board? It's bigger. 
There's four in the center. There's four, 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 four. But this one is cut on this corner. This one is four, this one is four. But you see this extension out here, four shapes? This is four shapes. This is an open four shape. It's not the same. This is doubled. And because a number goes here, and the number on this corner counts for this line, and the number on this corner counts for this line, okay? It's two different lines, but the, the one here, okay, counts for the straight line and this line over here. What the difference is by here is it's it's whole. It's whole. It's a whole number. It's four. It's a whole. Anyways, um, my last thing I wanted to show you, I think I got it over here. Two, three, one, four. Now, I don't know if I showed you earlier in the video. A V is for five. Connect the bottom V. Just like taking a picture card and folding it in half, okay, that's all it is. One V on the top, one V on the bottom, two different worlds coming together. This is a five and this is a five. The lower world is a two, three, five, number 23, and the top world is a one, four equals five. When this world equals five, this, you have to make these two numbers into a seven, seven on the dice. To make this into a 7-7 seven, seven on the dice, a 5 would have to go here, and a 4 would have to go here. 54 is love. Now, if we made this one into the same situation, it'd be a 6 and a 3. And 6 and 3 and 3 and 6 is creation. So this comes 5 and 4 love of creation. These two coming together. Anyways, there's a whole lot more I made. Um, three, four bu bumbles in this whole cassette. Um, I was only on planning on coming here for 30 seconds. So, it, like I said, I'm back to Obama, back to Ron Paul. Listen, we're coming to, uh, for all of those who think we're coming to a conscious change and you're thinking about Obama, though well, that means you're not at the conscious change. Obama did four years. Bye-bye. We'll give them four years. We'll give them four years until they get it right. That's all they deserve. And at the same time, we're still on the same team. We all want to prosper in life, but we cannot prosper because you can have a million or two million. But if they take away your freedom and civil liberties, whatever you do, you're always watched. So please take care based on your own judgment. Raphael, 7286.